Welcome everyone to this video by Learn Civil Engineering, where we will be learning about Archimedes' principle and its derivation. A static fluid will exert a resultant force directed vertically upwards on any object that is fully or partly immersed in it. This upwards force is known as buoyancy and is calculated using Archimedes' principle. To introduce Archimedes' principle, we will consider an arbitrarily shaped object with a uniform density of rho naught which is completely immersed in a static liquid of density ρ. The object has a volume of v0 and therefore a mass of ρ0 v0 and a weight of w equals ρ0 g v0 which acts vertically downwards through its centre of mass, denoted Cm. The pressure distribution in the liquid causes a resultant force acting vertically upwards, Fb, known as the buoyancy force, and it is Archimedes' principle that is used to calculate this force. Archimedes' principle defines that the buoyancy force, Fb, acting on a fully or partially immersed object is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. To derive Archimedes' principle, we will consider the resultant pressure force acting on the fully immersed object here. First off, it is clear that there can be no resultant pressure force acting on the object in any horizontal direction, as the horizontal pressure forces acting on the object must be equal and opposite and have the same line of action. We can prove this by drawing a vertical plane through the object, dividing it into two parts that have the same area of projection, as we can see by the blue lines in the diagram. We know that the pressure force acting on the right-hand surface of the object is equal to the horizontal pressure force, Fh, acting on the area of projection, and that's the same case for the left-hand surface of the object. As both areas of projection are identical, so are the horizontal pressure forces and the lines of action. Therefore, taking the x-coordinate direction to be positive, the resultant horizontal force on the object is equal to fh minus fh, which is equal to zero. So we can conclude that there is no resultant horizontal pressure force acting on the object. And this principle applies to the y-coordinate direction as well. On the other hand, there is a resultant vertical pressure force acting on the object, as the pressure acting on the lower surface of the object is greater than the pressure acting on the upper surface of the object. To find the resultant vertical pressure force acting on the object, or in other words, the buoyancy force, Fb, we will start off by dividing the object into an upper and a lower half. Firstly, we will consider the volume of liquid directly above the object, the vertical pressure force Fu acting on the upper part of the object is equal to the weight of this volume directly above the object and this weight acts vertically downwards through the centre of mass of the volume of liquid. Note that the direction of this force is in the negative z direction. Assuming that the density is constant throughout the liquid, the weight of this liquid is equal to rho g vu with Vu denoting the volume of liquid between the surface of the liquid and the upper surface of the object. Therefore, the vertical pressure force acting on the upper part of the object, Fu, is equal to rho g Vu. Now, considering the vertical pressure force acting on the lower part of the object, Fl is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction to the weight of the volume of liquid that would be directly above the lower surface of the object and this weight acts vertically downwards through the centre of mass of this volume. Therefore, again assuming that density is constant throughout the liquid, the weight of this volume is equal to rho g vl, where vl denotes the volume of liquid between the surface of the liquid and the lower surface of the object. Therefore, the vertical pressure force acting on the lower part of the object, fl, is equal to rho g vl. It is clear that the volume VL is greater than the volume VU, and therefore, as rho and G are constants, it follows that the force on the lower surface is greater than the force on the upper surface, so FL is greater than FU. The resultant vertical pressure force acting on the object, also known as the buoyancy force, FB, is equal to FL minus FU, and acts vertically upwards from the centre of mass of the volume of liquid, displaced by the object. Substituting our equations for Fl and Fu, we get that Fb is equal to rho g times by Vl minus Vu. Notice here that Vl minus Vu is just the volume, V0 of the object, and so 
the buoyancy force Fb is equal to rho g v naught. So now we have introduced Archimedes' principle and derived an equation for the buoyancy force for an object in a homogeneous liquid. The same result also applies for an object in a density stratified liquid, just with the corresponding density distribution. We should also note that if the weight of the object is less than the buoyancy force, the object will rise towards the liquid's free surface and can be called positively buoyant. And the opposite goes for if the weight of the object is greater than the buoyancy force, in that the object will sink and can be called negatively buoyant. This has been a video by Learn Civil Engineering. If you have found this video useful at all, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. If you do have any remaining questions or would like me to cover a specific topic, please leave them in the comment section below and I will try to respond as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.